Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So most global equity markets still moving lower this morning. Um, more weak data coming out of China, pointing to slow down out there. Their inflationary data isn't that bad, so more stimulus possible. Um, but overall, most global equity markets are just hit the skids last couple of sessions with the US 30 hitting 17,748. The Germany 30 getting very close, if not already, in a traditional bear market correction. Uh, and the UK market, as you can see there, we've um, retreated all the way back down to 67.71. Since we broke this upwards trend line, um, it's uh, been really, really pressured. 66.86 is the next potential support level, uh, should 67.71 not hold. Moving on to Japan 225, and we've seen lots of yen buying overnight uh, against yeah, Euro, uh, sorry, Euro yen. And the dollar yen, seen a big reversal right there as well. So that buying, that yen buying, has hurt Japan 225 quite a bad sell off yesterday, finishing at its daily lows. And again, this morning tanking, getting close to the bottom of this trend line, but certainly off uh, potential support right here at 28, uh, 20,087. Um, trading below the 21 period SMA as well. Hopefully, the 55 period SMA provides some support. But should the markets continue to be quite wary, and they certainly do look, feel quite wary right now after a multitude of different things. But it's interest rates right now that are spooking the markets. Uh, September apparently now seeming more logical or more likely than ever uh, as more US data comes out. But we'll have to wait for the macro data releases to confirm that possibility uh, each time it gets published. So moving on to crude. Um, crude had a fantastic day on Friday. Pretty much a bearish engulfing pattern. No, it's not crude, sorry, dollar yen. Uh, a great day there on Friday. Uh, a bearish, almost a bearish engulfing pattern there yesterday. Uh, flat, flattened out a little bit today, this morning at potential support. 124.42. A break below that opens up the move all the way back to 121.87, which should also be the 21 period SMA. You can see the MACD histogram show a complete loss of momentum. You got a cross over there on the on the RSI, and you're getting quite close on the slow stochastic as well. Let's move on to Crudoil West Texas. Not really doing a huge amount, bouncing between 57 and 59.50. Um, the OPEC meetings basically said they're still going to keep on pumping uh, the same amount of production and dollar strength would impact crude, albeit dollars taking a little bit of a backseat um, first thing this morning, um, sorry, overnight yesterday, and it's trying to fight back a little bit this morning. Gold, um, trying to have a retracement. If we do get a retracement back up to 1186, which would be round about here, that would open up a potential for new shorts to then target 1137. If you get a retracement up to here and you've got a death cross in the moving averages as well, if you get a retracement back up to here and the market then starts to sell off again, a lot of technical traders who might be bearish on gold, for example, might use this as an opportunity to sell. Otherwise, if you get a break above this level, so maybe it's just closer to 12, 1200, people see that as a positive sign. But um, a lot of technical factors adding weight to gold in the short term. So euro dollar, uh, Euro dollar uh, bullish engulfing pattern yesterday. Uh, Doji formation already developing today, but we only just started the session, incidentally, uh, as the dollar gave up some gains. Obama apparently did, did not say uh, that a weaker dollar, stronger dollar, sorry, was bad for the US. He came out and said, I most certainly did not say that. Uh, so lots of big question marks still over interest rates and uh, what America wants the dollar to do. Obviously, stronger dollar would have a crimping effect on US exports to other countries as their goods get more expensive. Um, so we'll just have to see how that one pans out. But depending on how today's candle uh, finishes up this formation, it finished up like today, that, that would not be a strong continuation pattern if it looked like that. But we have literally just started the session. And we do have a fair amount of economic data with, um, well, we've got uh, Eurozone GDP, not a huge amount actually, uh, Wednesday, we've got very little. You've got your crude oil inventories. Uh, Thursday, you've got uh, employment data and U.S. retail sales. So people will be looking at that for more clues as to interest rates and the U.S. retail sales is an important factor on there. Um, finishing up with GBP USD, uh, not quite a bullish engulfing pattern. We've not had any fall through today. One spot, 54.24 is potential resistance, which also coincide with that 21 period SMA. MACD is close to crossing yeah, the zero line. Other technicals are relatively neutral. Uh, so probably downside, downside pressure is probably more in control. I'm seeing on the interday charts is coming off relatively sharpish on the daily interval as well. So 
keep your eye on the chart forum. More updates there from Michael Houston. You can see he's been quite prolific with Brent, EuroCAD, EuroBund, Germany 30, Euro Sterling. Make sure you make insights part of your layout. Lots of cool inside track information here from our global analyst team informing you of what's moving the markets and why. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.